Fast food employees. What's one item on your respective chain's menu that you will absolutely not eat under any circumstances? Former BK employee of 6 years here. The food was actually good if it was fresh. The issue is the staff management. Sauce bottles would never get completely emptied and cleaned. People wouldn't change their gloves between doing different tasks. Or would be texting with those gloves then make your food. Also. All the items that go into making your food, lettuce, cheese, etc, was all tracked via time stickers, think a little clock. So if you brought out new cheese, the rules were it could only be left at room temp for 4 hours. If you brought it out at 12, you'd mark the sticker for 4pm. At that point you should have thrown it away. Well that never happened. Everything got stickers replaced to make sure they were always good in case of surprise inspection. Whenever right trained people I gave a few rules to live by. 1. If it's dirty. Clean it too. If it's out of place. Organize it 3. If you wouldn't eat it. Don't serve it from a customer perspective. Always order your food with a slight modification. Light mayo. This will ensure your food is made fresh instead of you getting one that has been made previously to speed things up. However. Can't guarantee the food it's being made with is fresh. I worked at a pizza place that was infested with roaches. Especially in the back room where we would leave the pizza dough out to sit. We would also find roaches in the ice maker. In the mechanical parts as well as the ice itself. If a restaurant has roaches nothing is safe. My bro managed a wiener schnitzel. Unbelievably they catered lunch for a few local high schools. As did Amici's pizza. The chili wasn't up to school standard and they had to add more meat to it in order to pass LAUSD code. Of course they used dog burgers. Dogs. And expired ground beef from the freezer. Bro bluntly told me. Never eat our chili. Used to work at a small fast food place and during training my manager got mad at me for throwing out slimy corn. She showed me how she would just rinse the slime off in the sink and put it back. I find corn suspicious now. Dairy Queen Strawberry Cheesecake Blizzard. When the cheesecake gets low you're supposed to fill it up a certain way where the new cheesecake goes on bottom and what's left of the old stuff is put on top to ensure it's used first and it all stays. Fresh. Well let me tell you that poop is like a brick after it's been in the container long enough. You constantly take it out and put it back so it's always thawing and refreezing and essentially freezing together. This is why absolutely no one rotates the cheesecake. I once dropped the cheesecake container onto the tile and the chunk in bottom cracked in half and came out. It had become almost like 98% mold. We'd been using it without rotating it for months. I work at Pizza Hut but honestly it's all pretty lit I wouldn't have an issue eating any of it M thought I would help you guys realize not everything is sketchy lol. So I'm a rat guy. I block them out of restaurants. I was doing my thing one night. And the restaurant owner is on the phone. Trying to get his fryer filter repaired. He told me he'd been trying for weeks but the co was book solid. I've got a degree in engineering. So I said I'd check it out. I managed to get it apart. And get a look inside. Inside were two large dead rats. Or what was left of them. Bones and fluff mostly. They had got in the machine via the purge pipe. And got stuck inside. So for probably a month or two. All the fried food from this establishment had been cooked in oil that had been filtered through to rotting rats. Did a month at Golden Corral during my senior year of high school. Roaches. In. The. Meat. Freezer. Roaches. In. The. M E T. F R E Z E R. I'm not gonna lie my McDonald's was really freaking clean and we sold everything fast enough to where nothing looked repulsive to eat especially when we went to the fresh quarter pounders and fresh chicken. I work at McDonald's. Nothing in my store is actually gross we are really clean and follow procedures. 
but I wouldn't have a filet fish with the sauce because the sauce makes a disgusting sound coming out of the sauce gun. I worked at Wendy's nobody ever freaking orders the home style chicken so if you do it's probably been sitting in a warmer tray for an hour or two since we just can't afford to throw out the old ones all the time but have to keep some on hand it will probably be hard and dry and we probably won't give you a refund. Reading through this I realize how tight the Burger King I worked at in the mid 80s was run. None of the poop I've read on this thread happened. If we pre-made anything, depending on the perceived rush, it was marked with a time and I correctly after 20 minutes it was trashed. We cleaned the poop out of that place every night when closing. The biggest thing we did if at the end of the night we had a burger or fries that just got old we maybe didn't throw it away but ate it. WTF is going on in today's world? Question mark? Cleanliness and not serving bad food varies from store to store. The Taco Bell I worked at took pride in our cleanliness and we followed food safety rules. During down times we'd get lent out to other stores. We came back from some and we were all good. Never ever eat there. We always passed the health department inspections with flying colors. The only points we ever got taken off for was once not realizing that they had changed how far off the floor shelving had to be and our sprayer nozzle was too low. Considering the inspections were always a surprise. That's pretty damned good. Now I feel like I should get a part time job at local restaurants just to make sure they're not serving anything disgusting. I can quit the job every month and go to a new one. I work at a McDonald's. While there isn't much that I won't eat, I just have stupid low standards for food, there are some riskier things to eat. There's a reason that the ice cream machine is down outlet. Sometimes it's for legit maintenance. Other times though, it's to clean out the mold that likes to grow in the liquid mix. I only found out after a year was filling it one day and looked down. The stuff I saw was nightmare fuel and ruined me on their soft serve for a while. I had said something about it. First shift will get it tomorrow. Dart. Frick that place. I worked for Noodles and Amp, co for a few years and I would honestly eat everything on the menu. The sauce ingredients come from a corporate kitchen and get combined made to order. The veggies were prepped fresh twice a day or more if needed and tossed at the end of the day. We pulled out all the kitchen equipment and egg scrubbed constantly. I've been fortunate to work in restaurants I wasn't embarrassed by for most of my working life. I work at a fast casual bar style Mexican grill place that is a smaller competitor to Chipotle. I'm the lead cook and make every protein. Sauce. Bean and hot item in house with fresh ingredients. That being said our most popular protein is our sweet pork. For a single batch of pork, 60 pounds, I will use close to 10 pounds of straight white sugar. 3 gallons of coke and 3 pounds of butter. The poop tastes like fuck skin candy and is crazy addictive. There are folks who come in every day and get double meat, 8 ounces, slather it in quizo. And get shredded cheese on top. I'm pretty damn sure I am contributing to their eventual death by cardiac arrest. Edit, the place is called Costa Vida. I'm actually pretty proud of the food I make but I can't bring myself to eat the sweet pork for the above reasons. Now I'm scared because I order chicken. Maybe my guardian angel is using Reddit to tell me something. Had a job with AMC theaters. I wouldn't recommend buying anything other than popcorn drink. The fried food is really something else when it comes shipped from a third party. So it's not even kind of fresh. The oil is so gross. You're basically ordering something that went through a machine built in the 70s that has accumulated layers and layers of oil residue. You can clean it a little bit. But you're never going back to how it first looked. Every day there's like a new layer of oil icing and the corners of the steel plates are where they really get stuck. I've worked other jobs as a fry cook before too. Making fresh chicken tenders and such every day at a deli. At the deli we cleaned the fryers every night. With huge hoses. Comma AMC we cleaned the fryer once a week by a person making minimum wage and doesn't exactly have any motivation to do a pristine job. Ham on pizza. 
Worked at Pizza Hut done time ago and the ham would turn this disgusting grey colour within a day or opening the package. You just couldn't tell if it had been opened 24 years ago or 2 weeks ago. But. During cooking it returned to pink which always weirded me out. Was a manager at a McDonald's from 18-26 in the mid 90s early 2000s. Our store was spotless. We had a great owner. General manager. Store manager. And maintenance man who held everyone to high standards. I did have a teenager drop a sandwich on the floor and then try to serve it once, not his first offense. I gave him a choice. Eat it or he was fired. He wouldn't eat it. So I fired him. His mother tried to put up a stink so I banned her from the property. She was a real Karen. Used to work at McDonald's. Nobody ever ordered the crispy chicken. I've had it sit in the warmer from opening to change over. Then from changeover when I ended my shift. Maybe it depends on the location. But the odds of getting one that's been sitting there for an hour or two outweigh the odds that the table and grill people remembered it existed and changed it out when it started looking bad. That and the gravy. Shit smelled like dog food and looked like glue. I didn't have a single co-worker who liked it. I might just be biased against it since it took forever to make it. And if I thought oh. We have enough to finish out breakfast I be wrong. Every. Single. Time. I'll never order it closed to change over and have someone have to make a gallon they'll end up using one scoop of. Applebee's, not a damn thing. It's the only restaurant I've worked for I would never eat at. Can't wait to read this list on BuzzFeed here in a few months. Write your own content. BuzzFeed employee. In and out, there's nothing I wouldn't eat. We always passed with flying colors with on health inspections and took food safety very seriously. I never drink anything from a tap or fountain. Anywhere. Those things are always nasty. And I say that as someone who has had a career in waste disposal. In the first bar I worked I took it upon my young. Dumbass to deep clean the beer taps. Not only have I never seen that quantity of black mold anywhere else. On my next shift 5 people. Apparently regulars. Chewed me out because the beer tasted wrong and it was obviously my fault. They weren't wrong. But it stung. Especially since I couldn't tell them why. I worked at a subway in my senior year of high school. What disturbed me was how the tuna came packaged in a big metallic bag, to keep it fresh. I guess. Comma then when we had to take it out. It would make this squelching noise. And because I made so many subs. Completely put me off from eating those sandwiches ever again. I currently manage a red colored fast food place. The only item that I will not eat on the menu is the breakfast burrito. Everything else is cooked fresh in the store except for that item. Other people are claiming other items are bad due to poor waste control practices. But I always tell my employees if you wouldn't pay for it. Do not serve it. Emphasis on the pay for it. People pay a premium for our food compared to arch based or crown based places. So they better be getting quality food. I would rather someone wait 1-2 minutes extra for fresh food than serve substandard products. I used to work at Chick-fil-A. And I'd eat everything on the menu. Everything is cleaned and wiped down spotless as soon as we closed at 10. Maybe not the coffee only because the blend is absolutely disgusting. The owner of that location doesn't even like it. I know this might sound bad but if I restaurant is right next to lake it's going to have bugs. It's just impossible to keep them out. The kitchen and freezers are usually extremely safe but you just can't stop it. If you set big ones it just wanders in but if you see small ones don't eat there. I worked at Wendy's in high school. For me. That item is the chili. Whenever a burger is cooked it is only considered good for a certain amount of time. So many minutes after cooking and the burger didn't get used it would be thrown in a bucket next to the grill. At the end of each shift the person dumps all the old burgers into a larger bucket of old burgers which may or may not be covered. They also may be from Zay's prior. 
Overnight they chill. The grease congeals and the meat turns pretty grey and weird. This meat may not be frozen. But it is still pretty hard to break up. So the person making chili dumps it in a big colander. Runs hot water over it. And mashes it into tiny pieces again. Now the soggy. Greyish. Lukewarm day old burger meat is ready to be used in the chili. Hi there. Look, if you enjoyed the video, well, why not go ahead and hit that like and subscribe to Reddit Stories. In fact, if you want to see even more responses to this thread, well then, take a look. There's the link in the description below. And remember, show some love to those authors while you're there. And I look forward to seeing you next time.